Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Living Free With Little. My name is Debbie. And today I'm going out to gather some purple dead nettle and start um, dehydrating it. And plus I like to take some of these uh, daffodil uh, dandy lines. I always say one's daffodil, one's dandy lines. And collect these because I, I heard that they are, there's a lot of benefits that you can do. Like you can um, soak them and make teas and different stuff from the leaves and everything. I have to look it up. So I don't want to touch these yet. I'm just coming out and getting the, the purple dead metal. Now, I want to show you something that I learned. There's a hen bit that looks like it's H-E-N-B-I-T. So hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, this, as far as I know, I looked it up and they said, see how the leaves are like heart shaped and then they have purple flowers. This is purple dead metal. And I just found a good example of something that right here looks something like it. It's squared, right? Now look at that one. This is considered to be henbit. And that's where they're, they're saying that from this and this, you have to watch it. But all this is wasteful. I'm not doing it now. I'm going to rip all this out because this is not dead nettle this is actually hen bit so i don't want any of that stuff in my gardens you know that i do not want that in there um the reason why is that there's no benefits from it all this all this stuff which is going to be really easy as you see is to come out yep say it thank god very easy to pull out, it seems like, so that's good. But you really don't want to get the seeds around, so you have to watch it. Um, I'm going to grow something on the side of these, but that's what my plans are. But before I rip the mail, I wanted to see what it was. You know what I mean? Because uh didn't know if they have any kind of benefit. They look like the, dead pur uh, the purple dead nettle, and it's not. There's here. Right. Just show you. So they said go down here. Because you want it to keep on growing. If you want it to keep on doing that, they said just do like that. Because all you're going to be doing is harvesting up here on the top with the flower. But like I said, you have to make sure. Um, this has a lot. I have a lot here, so I'm just going to grab and just go. underneath because you can catch some seeds um, just in case you want to relocate them in different places because that they said it's just like um, mint they spread they're pollinators the bees love them and that's why you see so much of it but like I said in the beginning there's two different ones which I didn't think I, I see but all I'm going to be doing I'm just going to show you a little bit of footage of it um, just the seeds up here like not the, um, the thing and make sure they're heart shaped like that I don't know if you can see that. And see, I'm just throwing scraps now. I don't have chickens, but they said that uh, they love the chickens. Love this. So when you get chickens, now another thing. The reason why I have a plate underneath is that sometimes they said underneath you get seeds. Which see that I got a few seeds there, a couple seeds. So you want to save them. So. Well, it's just, I'm going to get the good look at ones right here. The other one I got really late, I pulled it because I wanted it out of there anyway. There's too much of it. But I'm just going to do certain ones that have flowers. So. Alright, so this is what I got out of it. And um, for a first start, I think that's pretty good. The other ones, um, I have some more, but I'll do a separate. I just didn't want to do too much um, of it. And then, here's the seeds. 
What I'm going to do instead of putting it in the bag or anything, I'm going to spread it to where I want it, you know, where I want it to grow and just throw them out there just in case all these are not seeds, you know what I mean? So the next step is I'm going to have to rinse them and then we'll set it up and get ready for the dehydrator. So these are what I'm using. This is the bottom part on my master belt. Now hopefully this doesn't stick. For rinsing, you want to make sure you have a space because you want them really air dry. Now I will, I might pick more tomorrow or some other time and try to hang it and see. Because I have so much of this stuff, I'm not really worrying about. I just want to try and uh, have some saved on my shelf. And then when winter time comes, because they said it's great for if you need a chill, like you're, you're cold you're getting chills it's they said it's really good for um tea and you can add some honey for you know to have flavor and put it into my master belt which I'll show you is all right I just right want to let you know it's finished this way I don't recommend doing in the master belt unless you put something at the bottle because it actually from the tray it went through that hole and it just went right at the bottom which is hard to get to so it's not I don't unless you put something at the bottom of these baskets I went and put it at use this I will use with my sunbeam so I'm just gonna go there's not much here so you do have to pull a lot of them I didn't think so let me get a jar for this all right so I got myself a jar no smell or anything so I'm gonna fill this up the jar and then I'll show you what it looks like how pretty it is and I sh it's only gonna do a little jar but I, I like to start small and then once I learn about it then I go bigger I don't I want to see first if I use this stuff or not but there you have it isn't that nice Let me get you it. So now I have to do is label it say tell what it is and use it for teas. That's usually um, winter time is when they they use this for teas. Um, if you you need um to you know you get the chills and all that, this helps you calm the chills from the winter time. So yeah, I'm gonna try it. So now that I'm done, I need to make a journal about this because you get you can get for uh, no internet, no nothing. I have these free, and I either can use a pen or a marker any fancy little scissors I had a long time ago um, when I used to do scrapbooking so you want to make sure you identify what it is how to use it and different stuff so that's what I'm going to do in this little book that I had um, I'm just going to just put a purple the nettle uh, April harvest And the benefits of it. Winter time chills. Dehydrate for tea. Add honey. Add honey for taste. I really don't even have to stick it, so. It's not pretty or anything. Now I could have kept just a circle, but yeah. So that can take it out of there and it doesn't have to be permanent, so that even works out even better. But yeah, do a journal. Everything, anything that you do or you learn about, like the dandelion song, I'm going to have a video up, what I'm doing with that. I'm going to write that out as, as, as well. 
and show you everything that I, I you know, everything that you do so you learn. And you have a document because you don't know if you're going to have a computer or not. <clears throat> so you might forget, like, you know, unless you keep on doing it. And of course, you have it as memorized. But there's so much to learn that this is, I think, as a beginner like me, what to do. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subbed, please sub to me and hit that notification bell for future videos. All right, have a good one. Bye now. A broken down blue collar.